Hey guys, Jason with Starkey Products here with our new Raptor style LED grill lights for your 2015 F-150. Starkey has the only product on the market that fits all 2015 factory grills and it's adjustable to fit virtually any aftermarket grill as well. Our heavy duty bracket attaches to your truck in a matter of minutes for an aggressive front end look. Follow along as I take you through the install on this 2015 XL. You'll need the following tools. Basic metric socket set, pliers, and flathead screwdriver. Remove the nine push pins holding the radiator cover in place like so. There is also a push pin holding the top of each headlight trim panel in place that can be removed at this time. Remove the two 7mm bolts that hold the headlight trim panel in place. These are located in the wheel well. Repeat the process on the other side. Now remove the headlight trim panels. Start on the inside at the top and work your way down and toward the outer corner of the headlight. Remove the four 10mm bolts that hold the active shutters and grill in place. Use a pair of pliers to remove the four push pins just behind the grill like so. Then unplug the two connectors in front of the hood latch. Remove the six push pins that hold the rubber insulation to the grill. There are three push pins on each side. These push pins are ribbed so they'll be a little tougher to remove than the others. Remove the two 8mm bolts that hold on the bottom of the grill. Now you can carefully remove the grill and active shutter system. Be sure to have a soft place to lay the grill face down. Use a 10 mm deep well socket to remove the three nuts shown. These nuts are attached to plastic studs, so be sure you don't use excessive force. Remove the 8 mm screw in the center of the grill. There are four 10 mm nuts that need to be removed at each corner of the grill. These nuts attach to bolts and U-clips that are attached to the grill. During removal, you may find that using a finger to hold the U-clips will help you remove the nuts more easily. Now lift the active shutter assembly off of your grill. Sometimes you'll find that the U-clip unscrews from the bolt. This is no problem, just reattach the bolt to the clip and reinstall it like so. Styrofoam pads are placed between the active shutter assembly and grill from the factory. If they came off during removal of the active shutter, simply use a piece of tape to hold each one in place. Using the supplied hardware, Attach each L bracket to the light bar. Tighten the hardware just enough so that you can adjust the L brackets to the desired height. XLT Sport grills will need to flip the L brackets upside down like so if you want the light bar to be visible at the top slot of the grill. Lay the grill face down and position the light bar like so. If you're happy with the position of the lights, tighten the hardware or readjust as necessary. 
Position the light bar as shown with the LED lights facing down, then reinstall the active shutters. Reinstall two of the four large push pins you pulled out of the grill earlier. This time, you'll line up the top of the L bracket with the push pin and lock it into position by pressing down on the pin once in place. Repeat on the other side. Wrap the wiring out of the top of the grill like so. Be sure to secure all wiring with the supplied zip ties. Carefully sit your grill upright and confirm the light bar is secure. Also make sure you're happy with the position of the light bar. If satisfied, reinstall all hardware on the grill and reinstall the grill and shutter assembly onto the truck. Unplug the parking light connector located behind the headlight. Gently pull back the electrical tape to gain better access to the wires. Using the supplied red wire tap, slide the wire color specified in the instruction manual onto the wire tap like so. Squeeze down on the wire tap cover, making sure it snaps closed. Now plug the red wire from the light bar into the wire tap as shown. Use an 8mm socket or wrench to attach the black ground wire to the bolt shown in front of the washer fluid reservoir. Test the lights for proper function. Then, reinstall all parts by reversing the removal procedure. The install should take you about an hour to complete. For more information, contact one of our authorized dealers or visit our website at starkey-products.com.